Hey guys, this is Pongo, this is Bruno, and these are some crabs which are eating an eel which died and got stranded on the beach. And today I'm going to be telling you the story of four people. The first person finished high school and then he got a job at an office and then that job wasn't good enough so he had to get another job to get more money but in that job he wasn't happy so he got a promotion and he, then he got more money and more recognition and we, yes he got a bicycle the bicycle wasn't enough so he, he got a motorbike then he had to go to get a car because the motorbike wasn't good enough he needed something bigger then he got a bigger car and then another car and then a spaceship to go to the moon and that's his story he was never happy with what he had so he always needed to get more material stuff and the second story is about another guy who finished high school. In his case, he went to university and after university he felt like he, wasn't, he didn't know enough things. He doesn't, didn't have enough knowledge. So after university he needed to go to get a master's degree so he can know more things and get more recognition from people. Then he, after master's degrees he still wasn't satisfied with how many things he had learned, how many papers he had gotten that said that he knew something. So he got the doctorate. After that, he, he started teaching at university, at a big university, so he can get more recognition and people can look up to him for all the things he, he knows and all the papers that says that he had many things. The third person is myself. So when I finished high school, I started traveling. I went to Europe and lived in Spain for a year, Germany for a year, and then I started hitchhiking in Europe and camping and dumpster diving and getting all these experiences visiting every country in Europe so that I could feel like I had lots of experiences and I was very important or better than other people who didn't have the experiences that I had and my ego could uh, be <coughs> bless, pleased by my experiences and then those experiences weren't enough so I had to go to Asia and find a job in Asia and survive in Asia with 50 cents in a day but that wasn't enough so I needed to go to Australia, New Zealand and live for a few years in Australia that wasn't enough so I needed to buy a motorbike and travel in Asia by motorbike over land for many <coughs> many countries and then that wasn't enough so I needed to travel to South America on foot with the dog so I could feel like I was doing some very hardcore thing that never had ever no one many people had travel on foot without taking any sort of transportation for a long time and finally I got to Ecuador and I realized I had been playing a game and I had enough with these experiences and I was just fooling myself into thinking I wasn't experienced enough or I or fooling myself into thinking I needed more and more and more and the fourth person I will talk about now he finished high school and then he felt like he wasn't good enough, he wasn't wise enough or enlightened enough, so he got into a monastery and he he trained to be a monk and then he became a monk and then that still didn't satisfy him, so he tried other kinds of meditations. He went to India, he went to Japan, to a Zen Buddhist monastery. He tried the ashrams in India, he tried the Vipassana meditation in Southeast Asia. He tried all sorts of meditation and different philosophies and doctrines just so that he can get one up on the universe and be better than his peers and be better than what he was himself because he always felt like he wasn't enlightened enough he wasn't wise enough and he could always improve himself and when he got old he realized he had been playing a game which was exactly the same game as the other three people had been playing one of them had been chasing money, the other one had been chasing knowledge, the other one, who was myself, had been chasing experiences, and he had been chasing enlightenment, nirvana, satori, white, wisdom, sageness. He had been just playing the same game as the others, and when he realized it was all a game, it was too late. He had spent his life chasing dreams, and he had wasted his life by worrying and taking life very seriously and thinking all the things we do they really matter and they and it's a very serious game with very serious people who are really very deeply <coughs> truly caught up in their 
role and the part that they play in society. The first perso person play the part of the office worker, the second person play the part of the university professor, the, four, the third person, sorry, second, so third person was me, played the, the part of the hardcore traveler, and the fourth person played the part of the wise, enlightened monk. You see where I'm going with this? I'm sure you are caught up in your own hamster wheels or your own rat races. You are very convinced this, your, the road you're taking is the right one. You're very convinced that you need to get more experiences, knowledge, money, wisdom than the others, that you need to win against the universe or get an advantage on this life, on what it means to be human so that you can be better than other humans or better than you were yourself and you can never really be content you always need to meditate more hours or do something more and then something happens something called awaken and I will show you what it is it's like this it's a sense of relief it's like whoa I awoke I finally understand I finally can step down the hamster wheel and see things as they really are and see life as the game it really is while understanding that other people are also playing their own games and why they are playing it because society tells you it's all very real and very serious and sometimes you can tell people just jokingly something like whoa that was really that was really good you almost got me there i thought you were really a human person i thought this was all real you you were playing your part so well you almost got me but i know who you really are i know who's inside you i know what's inside you hmm. i know you're just fooling yourself the way i was fooling myself before except these crabs these, these crabs are not really fooling themselves these crabs are really living in reality they don't pretend to be something they are not they don't pretend to be chasing something they're just eating and sleeping and walking and that's the same that you should be doing you're you're watching this this video on youtube you're you're not a, an enlightened monk or a hardcore traveler or a, a millionaire you're a human and humans should be like these humans here. These humans are looking for octopus to eat. Humans should go to bed and sleep. Sh humans should eat, brush their teeth, take a deep breath without getting caught up so seriously in their own roles of being human. <laughs>